Hi. Today I'd like to show you how to download our new CCSD93 app. If you look at the screen now, you'll see that I've typed in and searched CCSD93. Upon doing that, it should appear just like this. At that point, you want to select to download. When you open the app for the first time, you will come to this screen. Simply click allow to allow notifications. And then from here, you want to select choose from list. At this point, you want to select the schools that your children attend. Example being, I'm going to select JStream and Elsie Johnson. Hit next and then select finish. The first thing I'd like to show you is how you can log into the parent login to view some specific data for your students. We'll start by selecting the parent login link. Upon entering in your username and your password, simply select login. Once you have logged in, you will see this screen. Start by selecting OK and then home. This will bring you to the home and you can see that my profile has now shown and that of my child. From here, if I select my child, here it's Bugs Bunny, you'll see it will take me into the account. Here I can see multiple different items such as attendance, cafeteria balance, school bus information, and soon you will have class information. Select home to exit back to the screen. Next, I will take you into the activity stream. Select that icon. You will see this is just a news feed of some of your latest events depending on which school your students attend and which schools you choose to follow in the app. Simply select home to go back. You will see only three icons on the first page. You'll see that I have my own icon and then that of my students and if I have any other students they will start to show on the second page. You can simply swipe over for more of them. Let's look at the student supply list icon. If we select that you'll see it brings up the student supply list of what school I would follow. Let's say I wanted to change my schools. I could simply select change in the top right hand corner. When you select change it will bring up a list of all the schools. Simply select, select the school you wish to view. Keep in mind that that change button will be throughout the app and whenever you select it you'll be able to select which school to view depending on whichever icon you're within. The next icon is notifications. Click and you'll bring up all the latest notifications and email alerts that the district or your school will have sent out. A calendar, which will show your latest calendar. A school and district directory with all the schools. Grade level pages, taking you into the website for the grade level pages links. A power school link. A my school bugs link. A RevTrack link for online payments. And most importantly, the cafeteria menu page. Here you will find the latest menus. On this page, you will also see a link to the parents' web page. Safe School Alerts, in case any of our students need to utilize this feature. And finally, on the first page, you'll see a superintendent tab which is just going to give you a nice welcome letter from our superintendent and leader, Dr. Shields. Continuing on, if we swipe to the next page, you will see more icons. The first one would be a news icon, which is similar to the activity stream, but in a different style and format. Following that, you can have a find your school. Based on your current location, it will tell you which elementary school for ES and which middle school for MS you should be attending. Past that, bring in some of our photos from some of our social media outlets. A link to our virtual backpack page on our school website. A link to our YouTube page for some easy viewing of our YouTube channel. A weather link for the current weather located in Carroll Stream. A Facebook link to view our district and school Facebooks. You can change as needed. A Twitter link to our district Twitter along with our different school Twitter feeds. A middle school sports icon, which is the Twitter feed of our two athletic directors at JStream and Stratford. And finally, we have the last icon, the settings. Let's click that. From here, you can do a couple different items. First, we have follow schools. If we click that, we can go in here and follow multiple different avenues within our each school. Select all if you just wish to receive all from one school. Going back, if you look at the select language, from here, there's a number of different languages available. English is at the top, Spanish is second, and then it should be in alphabetical order past that. Simply find the language you wish to use, select it, and then select back for settings, and it should take effect. 
And then finally, you'll have the option if you wish to simply log out. And that's all we have to show today within our new CCSD 93 district app.